All right, hello there. Uh, I just I had some time, so I wanted to make a quick uh, tutorial on uh, uh, teleporting, uh, similar to like the blink feature in Dishonored. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to to replicate that uh, sort of in a way. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the select location with the mouse yet, uh, quite yet. I might do it eventually, uh, but this would just be a basic teleport. So we'll open up the player uh, third person character. I'm using the third person template. Uh, e input, and then we want to grab our follow camera, uh, get world location, and we want to also get the forward vector. So basically what we're doing is a line trace, and then wherever the line trace hits, that's what is going to be our location and then we're going to teleport to it. So we want to multiply this uh, by a float, and this will be our distance of what, you know, from the camera to the location. Then we got to add these together, and we're adding these because um, we want to get the actual location of the camera and then get the forward vector from that location. So we're adding those values together. If we didn't, it'd be like 0, 0, 0, I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, and I'm just going to trace that for now. And now we want to branch. Um, if we didn't branch, then the character would teleport every single time, regardless of whether it hit something. And if it didn't have a hit uh, is true, then the character would teleport to 0, 0, 0 uh, based on how we have this uh, set up here. So now I want to set actor location. And then we're going to break the hit result of our line trace. Grab our location, break the vector. And we want to split this guy. So now we just want to change X and Y. And for the Z, we want to get the actor location want to split it and then we want to get Z and of course we want to teleport and we're doing it like this because if I just use this Z value it would put the character into the floor and this way it won't do that so let's try it out and then if I jump I'll teleport to that location and we could just keep doing it And yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can add, now we can pretty much add anything we want to in here. Um, we can take the mesh and set visibility. And then add a delay and set the visibility again. Do that. That way, when we when we teleport, it's like a blink. So our player is physically teleporting. Uh, and then you can add some weird effects if you want to. Um, to do that, you can uh, go ahead and change the material if you want, which would be pretty cool. Uh, so, move these over, set material, and doing this, we can, uh, let's create a new one. So, right click, material. Uh, tele mat, and we'll do like a do a blue, and we'll multiply that uh, Fresnel. 
that in the emissive. And we'll change that to here. Telemat. And then we want to, of course, when the visibility is set back again, maximize this so we can see what we're doing. We can now, of course, set it back to the original one, which is UE4 main body. Now what should happen? Let's see what's going on here. Ah, okay. So you want to have another delay in here? Because this is happening so quickly that we can't actually see the material change. See, now it's now it's changing when we teleport. But the material itself isn't actually compiled yet for some reason. I imagine because it's not in the level yet. There we go. Now. Huh, why is the material showing up? That's interesting. Just because it's not compiled? Should be fine. Apply, save. Interesting. That is interesting. Maybe because let's see unlet. Try that. Ah, okay, that's why. Not sure why, but that's why, apparently. So now we have kind of like a weird teleport thing going on. Teleport to different locations. And of course, you know, you could change the delay if you want, if it's too long of a of a delay for you. But yeah, so that's the quick tutorial. Um I might go into actually, you know, you select the skill and it go you can choose where to go with the mouse and when you click it actually teleports you know, uh, very similar to the uh, blink and dishonor but i think this will be a cool little tutorial for people to mess around with um all right cool so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one